Hey everybody, Alex here. Now, it's been a while since we've done any kind of tutorial things here. I've been doing a lot of these M1 Max and Pro videos lately, but we still need to be able to install software and install things that we need to use on these new machines. And sometimes we forget how to do it. This guy included. So today I'm going to run through and install Homebrew and then I'll do a node installation probably in another video next one. I'm doing after this. I want to separate these out so that people can pick and choose the videos they want to watch. So we're going to start out with homebrew because that's a pretty typical thing you're going to use if you're doing uh, package software package installations on a Mac. And if we're going to be using NVM, which is the node version manager to switch between the versions of node, I'm going to install that via homebrew so that we can install node on top of that. So it all starts kind of with homebrew. I'm a little rusty, so it's been a little while since I've done this on an M1 Mac. There are a couple of steps that uh, might trip you up. Let's do it. If you go to the official homebrew webpage and you'll see this line of code. Now this didn't used to work with M1 Macs or Apple Silicon Macs. As of February 2021, this should work. That's what we're going to start out with. I'm going to copy this line of code and let's go open up terminal. Now. I want to check out the architecture. Here we go. That's ARM 64. So this is the Apple Silicon terminal. The reason I say that is because you could actually start the terminal program using Rosetta, which is translation layer between x86 programs and ARM programs. If we need that, we'll come back to it. But I hope I won't need that this time around. And everybody that's following this tutorial after today, which is now November of 21, should be good. Okay, so I pasted that command in there. Enter. Now it's going to require your root password, which I'm going to do right here. Now it says command line tools will be installed. I've already installed Xcode here and installed Xcode command line tools. Why Homebrew doesn't detect that? Probably because it's trying to install Homebrew in a different directory. So this is not the typical directory where Homebrew will live. This is the directory where it lives on M1 Max and Apple Silicon Max. And what I have here is the M1 Pro. I should have mentioned that. This is the M1 Pro Mac, the 14 inch variety MacBook Pro. So it's gonna go to slash OPT slash homebrew. And that's not the typical location of homebrew on x86 machines. So perhaps that's why command line tools need to be installed again. Now this might take a little bit of time to install. And after this is done, because we didn't install it in the typical path that uh, is recognized by Max, so I won't be able to just type in the command brew, I will need to first edit my shell path variable in order for it to look at opt slash homebrew to find the brew command. We'll do that after this installation finishes. So that took a few minutes to do, and it's now finished but it's saying that something is not complete. And that's exactly what I was talking about right here. Warning, opt homebrew bin is not in your path. Instructions can be found in the next steps. Well, isn't that nice? Next steps, run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. Oh, I love that. That is so convenient. I'm gonna do that right now. There's two commands. I'm gonna take the first one. Oh, come on, copy that one and paste it. Okay. And one more. Is that it? Can we actually use homebrew right now? Let's do brew help. Look at that homebrew works. Now that you have homebrew installed, you can go on and use it, install other packages and programs using homebrew. This is going to be very handy when we install the node environment using NVM. And you can check that video out next.